My name is Bonnie Mungia, and I am the Director of Curriculum and Instruction for the Brawley Union High School District. Thank you for joining me today as I talk with you about our schools during the COVID-19 pandemic. Since our schools were dismissed in March, our staff has been working very hard to provide our students with educational opportunities and meals to finish the school year. When school dismissal happened in March, no one thought we would still be under stay at home orders from our officials, but here we are still at home in June. This evening, I will give you an update on the Brawley Union High School District and our activities this summer. I will be talking about food services, student registration in August, our learning options to start school in the fall, athletics, and some advice and information for incoming freshmen. I will also give details on a very important survey that will be sent to parents, students, and staff. As you may have experienced, our offices are not fully staffed on campus as we have many of our team working remotely from home. We thank you for your patience with staff returning calls and email messages. At the end of this message, we'll post our general voice box and email address in case you don't know how to reach someone on campus. Let's start with food services. We will continue to distribute free meals to children under age 18 on Mondays and Wednesdays until June 30th. Children are given two breakfasts and two lunches on Mondays and three each on Wednesdays. To pick up meals, drive in front of the cafeteria on C Street and you can give your child's name to our staff for the meals. This summer, we will continue to work with the California Department of Education to create our plan to start meals again when school begins. We will send more information as it is available. Let's turn our focus to student registration that normally happens in August. Many parents want to know details in order to make summer plans and to not miss deadlines. Our goal for student registration is to move to a fully online platform for all students. In the past, students in grades 10 through 12 have completed the majority of their data confirmation online and then brought in proof of residency to the gym. This year, we are working to upgrade our system so that parents can upload their utility bill or any other documents from home so that students do not have to wait in line for registration with paperwork. You will need your ARIES Parent Portal account. If you do not have your ARIES Parent Portal account set up, you will be receiving a letter in the mail by the end of June with the information and instructions to create your account. This is very important and you will need to have this account in order to register in August. It is also critical that students check their BUHS email every day to see if we've sent updates and information. Stay tuned for more details on registration. In the meantime, one thing that you can do is go through your house and get all of your textbooks, novels, uniforms, and school materials that need to be returned to us. Put them in a bag and mark them with your child's name and ID number. We hope to schedule another date in June to drop off books, so stay tuned. To our incoming freshmen, we are working hard to create experiences in August that will help you get connected to BUHS and our staff. Now parents, if you have had students here before and have heard me talk to incoming freshmen, you know what I'm going to say because I tell this to all incoming freshmen classes. It's the truth. My favorite students on campus are freshmen. Freshmen are so much fun and love being here with us. So with that, you have my promise that we will build experiences for you that will help you get connected to our great high school. Toward mid-July, we will mail home our plan for incoming freshmen. We anticipate that our orientation activities will be virtual and in August, we plan to distribute Chromebooks to freshmen who need a device. We have received your name, address, and phone number information from Barbara Worth, Westmoreland, Magnolia, and Mulberry. 
In addition to the information that you sent us through the Google Form survey sent out in May. If you're going to be an incoming freshman and are coming from a school outside of our area, please visit www.brawleyhigh.org 2024 for information on who to contact with your child's information. To the parents of freshmen, we encourage you to follow us on our social media accounts on Facebook, Instagram, and or Twitter as another way to stay up to date with messages. Now, now let's talk about how we're going to start school. Every day, our staff are in contact with colleagues throughout the Imperial Valley to make decisions for our schools, students, parents, and communities. We connect with educators from around the state and county to understand COVID-19 and what our challenges will be for education in the fall. We want you to know that the safety and health of our students, staff, and community are always our first priority. We are now facing the challenge to make decisions on how our students will return in August. When students return, school may not look as it has in years past. In order for us to make decisions on our learning model in the fall, we must stay current with the Imperial County Health Department and the Center for Disease Control. Most importantly, we need to reach out to you, our parents, students, and staff for your help in understanding the needs of our community. Honestly, this is why we asked you to join us this evening. We need your help and your input. This week, you will receive an invitation to complete a survey telling us how you feel about starting school in the fall and how we should bring students back to learning on campus. We want every parent and every student at Brawley Union High School, Desert Valley High School, and Renaissance to complete the survey. We will use your input to help guide our next steps, which we hope to share with everyone as soon as plans are developed and we have clearance from our local health department and governments. Please, please complete the survey to help us support your students in the Brawley Union High School District. Moving on, let's talk about athletics. Every day, our athletic director, Mr. Billy Brewer, is in contact with our coaches and our county athletic directors, the CIF officials from the San Diego section and throughout the state of California. Last Friday, CIF released new regulations and guidelines on how schools can move forward in sports. However, these regulations depend on our local Imperial County situation. There is no one more anxious to start high school sports again than our teams, but we have to follow the guidelines and wait for our local officials to allow these activities to take place. The minute that we have more details on our sports programs, we will be in touch with all students and coaches. Our Wildcat student athletes are resilient and will be ready when we finally get the call to, stop, to start fall sports again. Our Wildcat student athletes are resilient and will be ready when finally given the call to start sports again. As you can see, we have a lot of work on our plates this summer to reimagine our traditional systems to make them safe and accessible for our families and staff. We will keep working on plans and send them out to you as they are developed. In the meantime, parents and students, Please continue to check your email regularly. Please follow us on social media and check our website for updates. Our website is www.brawleyhigh.org. Most importantly, we want you to continue to follow all regulations and guidelines from our health officials so that we can flatten the curve and stop the spread of COVID-19. We cannot predict the future and we cannot make guarantees, but we can promise you this. The staff at the Brawley Union High School District will do whatever it takes to bring your children the best learning opportunities possible. Thank you for joining me. Good night.